This is Total Life Youth with Reverend Mrs. Adenike Victor Tade. We really want to appreciate God for taking care of you and taking care of me and causing His Holy Spirit to be leading us day in and day out. And I celebrate you because you are still among the living. And we appreciate God. Today, by God's grace, we shall be looking into another episode that says, Go with Jesus. Go with Jesus. And our text is from the book of Mark, chapter 4, 35 to 36. As evening fell, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took him just as he was and started out, leaving the crowd behind, though other boats followed. I want to read again. Mark 4, from verse 35 to 36. As evening fell, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took him just as he was and started out and leaving the crowd behind. Though other boats followed. That's, may the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. You are the potter, and I... Total Live in Christ Ministry presents Molding Moments every Thursday 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Expect sound teachings, healing, and deliverance at Ayonkoya Street after NUT Event Center, Okiado Ibado. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands, so the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seems best to him. Jeremiah 18, verse 4. Total life in Christ's ministry, becoming like Christ. My whole From the text we read earlier, when Jesus has done some signs and wonders, healing and teachings on one side, he now told his disciples, come on brothers, let's go to the other side. And the Bible said they quickly followed him. They followed him without questioning. Our text said, go with Jesus Christ. I look at it as there are other people at that scene of crusade at that teaching, Bible teaching school that Jesus just finished with. And when Jesus now called his disciples and said, let us go, those other people, the multitude that keep on hearing the word of God, that keep on assembly looking for healing, looking for bread or the butter on their bread, they could not even tell Jesus, Let, let's follow you. One cannot even say, where are you going? I'm following you. They were satisfied with those teaching. They were satisfied with that other side they were. They were satisfied there. They were not ready to really go with Jesus. They only enjoy his appearance once a while. And that is why when Jesus told his disciples, let's go to the other side, they didn't feel any impact. They didn't feel they were left behind. They didn't feel they too need to go with Jesus Christ. Our text is saying go with Jesus. In every of your area, go with Jesus. It's always pleasant to go with Jesus. Are you telling me that when you go with Jesus, devil will be bold enough to confront you and you will not win that war? Are you telling me that when you go with Jesus in all your race, you will be confused? No singular text in the Bible record that Jesus was a confused person. Now, when you now go with a man that knows where he's going, you go with that God that understands the journey, the man that understands tomorrow from today, are you telling me you will recall failure? Are you telling me you will be convinced, confused? Are you telling me that you will meet hazard on your way that you will not overcome? Brethren, I'm challenging us at this hour that you need to be going to wherever you are going with Jesus Christ. Go with him without hesitating. Go with him without asking questions. And as you do so, I am assuring you pleasant journey in the name of Jesus. Same time, same station. Subject to rapture, do remember God has a bigger plan for you, the bigger youth. Remain blessed.